Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious cheesy baked macaroni and cheese. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by shredding our cheeses. You're going to want to shred smoked gouda. Fontina. Harvati. Mild cheddar cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. When you finish shredding your cheeses, set them to the side. Next, fill a large pot with chicken broth. Bring it to a boil and then add your macaroni noodles. Cook your macaroni noodles for however long it says to on the box. While the noodles are boiling, we're going to make the cheese sauce. In a large saucepan over medium heat, add 2 tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, gradually add 2 tablespoons of flour while whisking the butter and flour together. Once everything is mixed together, cook your roux for about 1-2 to two minutes. Then, while whisking, gradually add two and a half cups of half and half. Once you've added the half and half, continue to cook the sauce while whisking occasionally until it starts to become thick. Once the sauce starts to become thick, mix in two tablespoons of sour cream, and two ounces of cream cheese. Next, lower the heat and add one cup of mild cheddar cheese, One cup of sharp cheddar cheese. A half a cup of gouda. A half a cup of fontina cheese. And a half a cup of Harvati. Once you've mixed in all of your cheeses, add 1 teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, 1 fourth teaspoon of onion powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of creole seasoning, 1 fourth teaspoon of paprika, a dash of cayenne pepper, and a dash of white pepper. Mix your seasonings in until well combined and then you are all finished making your cheese sauce. By now your noodles should be finished cooking. Add the cheese sauce to your macaroni noodles and mix everything together. Then mix in a handful of each of your shredded cheeses. Then grease a large baking dish with butter, oil, or nonstick spray. After greasing the baking dish, add the macaroni and cheese into the pan.
Evenly spread it throughout the pan and then add your leftover shredded cheese on top. When you're finished adding the cheese, sprinkle some paprika on top as well. Then cover the baking dish in tin foil and place it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove the tin foil and then cook your mac and cheese under the broiler for about 3 to 5 minutes or until the top has browned. Then take your mac and cheese out of the oven and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's it, you are all finished! Now you can enjoy your macaroni and cheese. The mac and cheese is cheesy, creamy, and super delicious. This is my go-to macaroni and cheese recipe. I've improved the recipe little by little over the years and this is the updated version. Oh, and this is the recipe I used for my Thanksgiving vlog as well. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!